I've actually never I've worked with the Palawan Bearcat up close and personal, and they're so elusive in the wild. So that's why I'm here at Roy Rodriguez's Butterfly Sanctuary. Oh my god. Ah. This is literally a dream come true for me. I've always loved binturongs. Number one, almost nobody knows what that is. If I ask somebody, oh, hey, you want to see a bear cat or a binturong? They're like, what? A bear cat? Like, what? Is it a bear? Is it a cat? No, it's neither. It's a very unique animal, only native to Southeast Asia. Let's try to Hi, beautiful. Hey there. You are beautiful. Hi. Hi, oh, you can eat my nose. I'll bite back. You watch out. Getting to interact with this Bintrong is amazing. I mean, she's she's been around her handler, but I'm a stranger. She's never met me before, and she's crawling all over me. She's exploring. She's getting to know me. She's smelling me and touching me and climbing all over the place. And so the day already has an epic start to it. Look at that. Look at that. What is that? What is that? Uh-oh. Smartphone food. It's a Bintrong. This is not any old Bintrong. This binturong is native to the one and only island in the Philippines, Palawan. And this kiddo is only seven months old. I say one of the most unique things about this animal is the fact that they actually, they, they smell like popcorn. Like literally, like I was in the jungle and I'm looking for wildlife. I, I remember this vividly. And this was in, uh, in northern Palawan a couple years ago. And all of a sudden, I smell popcorn. I'm like, dude, there's no popcorn around here. There's nobody cooking popcorn, there's no microwaves, there's no pan cooked popcorn. I mean, this is, there's a binturong somewhere around here and I tracked it for hours. And it was at night, I'm shining my lights, looking for eyes, didn't find anything, but I could smell them. You can smell these guys from a mile away. Look at that. So okay. this is the first uh, successfully breed in captivity. Wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize that, okay. It's a really big deal that Roy is breeding these binturongs in captivity because their numbers have been decreasing because of poaching for the Chinese traditional medicine, and a lot of people want to try to get them in the illegal pet trade. I'm a native of Palawan. I saw the beauty of nature, and I started to make a garden to rescue wild animals and birds. So now I'm very successful in breeding Palawan beer cat. So can you have a medical checkup for this uh, baby bear cat? I'd be happy to. Yeah. Have they ever had a veterinarian look at them no, before? No, this is the first time. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect timing. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I'd love to help out. When I travel, I never know who and what I'm going to help. A lot of times it's situational. And I come to these places, and I find out there's animals in need. Here I am. Let me help. Like, let me do anything I can to help. And this is a perfect example of that. Where you going, sweetheart? We got to look at you. And even cooler, I've got a bit of hands-on experience working with binurongs, but this is actually the first time I'll be vetting on them. You excited? I'm excited. Look at that little face. Oh, you're so cute. Dong Dong's pretty young. She's only seven months, but she's pretty tractable. It's easy to work with her. There you go. There you go. Come here. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry. There it is. <laughs> this is what happens when you stress out a bear cat. I guess I deserve that. As any wild animal, they can easily get frightened and scared. Like when there's a lot of people around, there's a lot of noises, when there's food nearby, you can see energy levels change, you can see her get excited, you can see her get stressed, you can see her relax and hang out on my shoulder and just chill. And so we're getting all those mix of emotions just in the course of time that she's sitting and, and climbing all over me. Have you pooped and peed everything you have yet? Is there more where that's coming from, huh? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So I wanna look at your little hands. And just like that, you can kind of fold them out. Just like that, so I'm looking at all those little nail beds, looking at each little nail. For the sake of this exam, I'm gonna give this bear cat back to her handler where she'll feel safer and more at ease. While I finish, do a good physical exam on her, and then most importantly, taking a listen to her heart. Hey dude, can I take a listen to you? I've never heard a baby binturong heart. I'd love to hear yours. I want you to take a look at this, dude. This is a stethoscope. I want you to explore it, be comfortable with it before I put it on your little chest. You can take a little bite out of it, that's fine. I want you guys to look at his canines and just show you, look at those, look at those teeth, look at the teeth. If those teeth got a hold of you, that would not be fun. That's a pretty nasty bite, actually. I know, this is weird. Oh, your heart sounds good, dude. Nice, healthy heart rate. Steady rate, no murmur, regular rhythm. 
very happy with what I'm hearing here. I mean, this is why I travel. Don't get me wrong, I love to help animals. I do it for them. But a big part of it is selfish reasons just to get to do things like this. To have a binturong nibbling on my nose and climbing on my head is like so special. Why do I feel so warm all over my shoulders? You peed on me again, didn't you? I give you bananas, you give me pee. I don't like this relationship we're developing here.